lovelies! Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm with my good friend Patrick. <laughs> he's um he's also shared the same passion for health, spirituality, and beauty just as much as I have, and we both have kind of gone along our own journeys and healing ourselves from the inside out. So I've gathered some questions. Are you ready? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Question yeah. number one. If there was one thing you would tell people to stop eating right now, what would it be? GMO foods, and I would say processed foods, then I would say uh, sugar, and then I would say caffeine. Primarily, if you're going to remove anything, I would say GMO foods. Physiologically speaking, when we talk about DNA, we talk about uh, the molecular structure of things and the way that things are broken down and the way that we process yeah. foods and the way that we code information. Um, Our body doesn't. Simply put, because don't know what it is. yeah, because it's <laughs> such a new thing, and you're combining all these different elements from different species of plants and different, even animals and sometimes pesticides. Our body doesn't know how to process it and what to do with it. It creates all kinds of mood and health problems that is becoming an epidemic in the United States. Yeah, I feel like I, every year I feel like the the numbers of obesity and health issues yeah. get larger. They really affect the way that our whole immune system and physiologically uh, the way our body copes with life. Yeah. Second question. Uh, what about something they should start consuming? Uh, depending on like, your diet, um, I think organic foods, of course. Yeah. Um, uh, don't, don't believe everything you hear as far as organics. Uh, organic foods aren't always non-GMO. It's, it's, sorry to cut you off, but um, yeah. It's not illegal for companies to put organic on their labels, yeah, and yeah. it's not organic. Yeah, so true. So that's look, ridiculous. There, ridiculous. there are specific yeah. labels. Yeah, to look are. for. You want to look for a US, USDA organic. Non GMO. Um, because you told me a magic seed. Oh, oh, to oh start yeah. consuming. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so I, I'm a firm believer in hemp seeds, uh, especially for vegetarians who need protein. I believe in hemp seeds so much is because uh, they're the closest. Uh, protein to the protein that is in our muscles that it's the easiest for our body to take and um, decode or reconstruct into what we need in order to survive third question uh, what's your number one tip for someone who is debating on going vegan going vegan is a it's a it's a life choice I used to hunt in the Everglades I used to shoot alligator and kill snakes and hunt my own deer and I, I've killed many things, so I've experienced life and death in my own hands. Because of that, I, I value life because of my own experiences. So maybe you start with leaner, leaner proteins, like go yeah. to just chicken, and then maybe just go to just being like pescatarian, which is only fish. Yeah. And then maybe weed into just vegetarianism, and then move slowly, slowly into vegan. Grains and pseudo grains are like millet, um, quinoa, amaranth. Uh, those are a list of buckwheat that's a pseudo grain in live food so when you put life into you you get life in return it's yeah. like you are what you eat yeah um one is advice for people who want to eat healthy on a budget if you've ever bought beans if you've <clears throat> ever bought pseudo grains if you've ever bought <clears throat> brown rice anything quinoa. i mean if you've ever ever bought real food from spinach to kale to any of these things God, in bulk, it's so much cheaper. And real food is actually Buying, less expensive. Yeah, having a plant-based yeah. diet is more affordable than yeah. eating meat. Take a baby broccoli, sprout that into the little sprouts, and then you could take barley grass and sprout that and eat that as a salad. That's like slam pack with protein. You're getting your vitamin B12. You're getting all kinds of, of minerals and elements that you normally wouldn't get from living living sources. Yeah. And that literally would probably cost you a dollar fifty. Chicken's always cheap. Yeah, um, chicken's really um Yeah. yeah. Eat, eat proper portions, like six ounces of chicken is for the most part gonna be yeah. good for depending on whatever your your activity level is. You know, it's an investment. It's, it's an investment. In, it takes time. in long term, long term yeah, health. For sure. What would you tell someone who doesn't believe that food affects their health? The thing, the thing that I've learned as far as like going along this journey is that the body wants to heal you. If there's anything wrong in the body, the body wants to heal it right away, as soon yeah. as possible. Yeah. So 
if your body's so good or, or just is consistently trying to keep you healthy, um, 20 years, 30 years, 40 years down the road is when the body is just sick and tired of you being sick and tired. I think in modern America, we all want to be happy. There's like this the happy or the happyism or whatever it is. Striving for happiness. Happiness is the end goal. Food that you take. Yeah. Food that you, you put into your body is going to vibrate in a way that then reflects outwards. Right. Six. Uh, what's your opinion on people who say eating every two hours is good for metabolism? I'm going to use a simple analogy. I look at it as if you're driving a car. Um, you can't run the car forever. Yes, you can drive to Vegas. Yes, you can drive for two days to uh, Colorado or maybe you want to drive all the way across state. Mm -hmm. You're going to take breaks. You're going to take a break yeah. here and there. You're going to let your car relax. You're yeah. going to let your car cool down. The concept behind eating all the time is a constantly running and constantly working stomach. If you're ingesting food, you're then cooking food to then break down the food. I believe in intermittent fasting, Google it. I'll leave it at that. Okay. How has eating healthy affected you spiritually, emotionally, mentally? The biggest thing you can get from, from everything on this in, in, entire uh, video that for me is, I'm not telling you to go out there and be crazy about your diet. I'm not telling you to go out there and and stop eating all these things right away. Take your time. But don't beat yourself up when you eat the things you used to eat. You're changing yourself. Take this debilitating mindset of of beating yourself up for the things that you, you do that you shouldn't be doing, that's not gonna lead you down the right yeah. path. And the best way, in my opinion, is to take that process with love.